Good afternoon for all of you. I hope you are fine, you and your family. Please stay at home and be careful. With you, Mr. Mustafa Ibrahim from Tabarak Private School. This lesson we will study the introduction to organic chemistry. So firstly, we have to know what is meant by organic chemistry. Organic chemistry is the branch of chemistry that studies the carbon compounds. So any, any it must contain carbon atoms. So all organic compounds, they contain carbon compounds. So the molecules that form the basis of all living things are based on carbon compounds. So we have to know in the introduction of organic chemistry some important to know that each carbon atom, each carbon atom, it must form four covalent bonds. Again, carbon, carbon, it must form four covalent bonds. Hydrogen, only one bond. Oxygen, two bonds. Nitrogen, three bonds. So arrange, arrange, you can arrange from higher to lower. Carbon, four. Nitrogen, three. Oxygen, two. And hydrogen, only one bond. So carbon, four bonds. Nitrogen, three bonds. Oxygen, two. And the hydrogen, one bond. After that, we have in organic chemistry, different types of formula. In the first semester, if you remember, we take a formula is called the empirical formula and molecular formula. Molecular formula, it tells us the actual number of atoms of each element on the compound. So, I said to you in the class, if you want to write the displayed formula, displayed formula, it show all the bonds between the atoms in the compound. So, if I give you C4H10, C4H10, it is one of alkanes. How can you draw the structural and displayed formula? Displayed formula, firstly, you draw four carbon. One, two, three, four. And as it one of alkanes, so all the bonds between carbon are single bonds. So you draw all the single bonds. And as you know, each carbon it must form four bonds, so you complete the number of hydrogens. After that, after you draw this plate formula, you can draw easily structural formula. You add these hydrogen together. See the first carbon, how many hydrogen with it? One, two, three. So I write CH3. Then the second one, CH2. After that, CH, CH2, then CH3. What about the skeletal formula? We take a lot of exercise about this part in the class. So revise with me and arrange your information. So the skeletal formula, it is only carbon skeleton without writing C or H. Each point it represent one carbon so when i count how many carbon one two three four carbon atoms only we will write the functional groups which are maybe cl br oh later in alcohols and aldehydes and ketones you have to write only the functional groups after that what are the functional groups Functional groups are atoms that cause the molecules to behave in a certain way. Again, functional groups like in alcohols, you have OH. 
So if I see OH, I know this is alcohol. So all the molecules that contain OH, they will behave in a certain way. If I see double bond, double bond, it means one of alkenes. So they will behave in a certain way. So this grouping tell me to which family this compound belong to. After that, the alkyl groups, if you remember, you have methyl, CH3, you have ethyl, C2H5. It's like alkanes, but we remove one hydrogen. Remember with me, alkanes, CN, H2N, plus 2. But alkyl groups, CN, H2N, plus 1. After that, what are later in the second semester we will study six chapters they are arranged in this slide if you see alkane chapter 2 alkenes chapter 3 chapter 4 halogen alkanes and chapter 5 alcohols chapter 6 aldehydes and ketones the last chapter about carboxylic acids so, I need from you to know in each one of them what is the functional group and the general formula. It is important. The general formula tell me how can I write the molecular formula of any one of them. So, and you know the prefix uh, or suffix. The prefix, it means the start of the name. Suffix, the end of the name. What I will write at the end of the name, like alkane, the name of any alkane ends by A-N-E, alkanes, E-N-E, so from the beginning, alkanes, they contain all single bonds, alkanes, double bond, and halogen alkanes, alkane, but it is bonded to X, what is X? One of halogens, halogens like Br, Cl, or F, and I. Alcohols, they contain OH, aldehydes, CHO, or carbonyl group CO bonded to H. Ketones, C double bond O, and carboxylic acids, COOH. Don't forget the general formula. We will study it one by one. Don't worry now if you didn't get any one of them. We will repeat. In alkanes, we will take a chapter about alkanes, alkenes, halogen alkanes, each one of them individually in a chapter. So, CNH2N plus 2, alkenes, CNH2N, halogen alkanes, CNH2N plus 1, X, X may be Br or Cl, if it is Br, bromo, Cl, chloro, and so on. And alcohols, Cn, H2N plus 1, OH. Aldehydes and the ketones is the same. Cn, H2N, O. Both aldehydes and the ketone. And al carboxylic acids, C like alkenes, but remove one. And instead of it, COOH. CN, H2N, plus 1, COOH. And alkanes, all of them end by ANE. When I said methane, ethane, propane, and so on. And alkenes, they end by ENE. Like when I said ethene, propene, but one in. And halogen alkanes like alkanes, but we add the name of the halogen in the beginning, the prefix. It will be like bromo, chloro, fluoro, iodo, and so on. And alcohols, they ends by OL. Aldehydes, AL. Ketones, 1. O-N-E. Carboxylic acids, ends by OIC acid. O-I-C acid. So this part is important. You have to know the general formula. It will tell me how can I write. So now concentrate with me in alkanes. How can I use this general formula in the next slide? See, you have to know the prefix of carbon atoms in all of them. For you, 
only you have to know up to six carbon atoms. One meth, two eth, three prop, four but or but, five plant, six hex. So see the name, all of them because of al they are alkanes. So all of them they end by a n e methane. Ethane, propane, butane, pentane, hexane. So when I write the name methane, one carbon, how can I write H? The number of carbon times two plus two. You apply the general formula CnH2n plus two. So one times two, two plus two, four. Also butane, C4. How can I know H10? Four times two, eight. Plus two, ten. Also hexane. C six. How can I know H fourteen? Apply the general formula. C H. C six. So times two, twelve. Then plus two, it gives me fourteen. So from the general formula and the prefixes of carbon atoms, you can write the molecular formula then you write the displayed or structural or skeletal later inshallah we will complete on the next chapters how can we give the name of any organic compound Let's listen see you soon please be careful and stay at home good luck for all students i hope I hope you are enjoy the listening and you understand the topic we explain today. We appreciate the efforts of Mr. Yunus Rahbi, the chairman of Tabarak Private Schools Group. And don't forget your homework is uploaded on model on Tabarak Private School site. Thank you and goodbye.